<laughs> so now neo natives, sup guys? Uh, I what did I want to do on this video today? Oh yeah, <laughs> um, I wanted to make this short video and just say I love the Cyborg Tinker by Meg Latour. I've been reading this book actually for for a little while now. Um, it was it was funny. I, it was uh, it was strange because I started out liking it. I started out loving it actually, and then I was like, I don't know if I like this. And then and then I loved it again. And I saw, I haven't finished it, but I'm like super excited to to read the ending. I'm on page three fifty six, chap chapter thirty six, and I'm like, oh, I want to see what happens because. I don't know what happens yet, but I'm like so excited. It was, I mean, if you guys have, have read it um, and like that twist comes at the end, it just like comes out of left field. And I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> it blew my mind, you know what I mean? I was like, I didn't know whether I liked this book, but now I was like, holy shit, took it in a whole new direction. And what what's beautiful i really enjoy meg Latour's, uh style of writing that's what really kept me uh engaged with it because personally for me i mean different people have different tastes and what style of writing they like you know and what they respond to but her style i really love it for some reason it's really fun and kind of silly and adventurous and super imaginative it's like blows my mind like f for real and that's why like i i don't know what's gonna happen at the end it's like unpredictable this is why i'm so excited to see what happens and um you know if you read it and and you loved it too you know what i'm talking about um but also i think um I don't know. It, it's a, it's an interesting book. I think I might have to read it again after after my initial reading. I'm gonna have to go back and re read it again because there's a lot in there that I think I missed the first time around. I I noticed at the end that there was a lot more subtlety and nuance than I initially uh, thought. I guess I don't know. I started picking up. I was like, oh. That's cool. It's really cool. I mean, not every reader is going to have the same experience with a book. You know what I mean? Um, and that's okay. But for me, I'm, I'm just really enjoying the really creative, imaginative ride that Meg wrote in this thing. You know, it's just a fun, you know, kind of romantic adventure, you know, to me. And I'm just enjoying it. I mean with some dragons and cyborgs and, you know, uh, flying spaceship or, uh, flying tall ships in space. Like what? That's so freaking cool, you know? And so this is only the first book in the series. You guys know that, you know, you guys know that, right? It's, uh, uh, the cyborg circus or whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever the chronicles or whatever it is anyway so when, definitely when meg puts out her next book i'm definitely gonna buy it and read it because i love i love this first one and uh whatever it is she she decides to write i mean even if it's not in the same series you know if she decides to just write something totally new you know i want to read that i really do so uh so yeah <laughs> i just wanted to say i love this book uh the cyborg tinker and uh <laughs> i don't know i just want to hear like hear from the people who really liked it you know uh you know if you guys if they're the people who really liked it i i want to know in the comments uh what particular things you really liked about it um because maybe you guys picked up on more stuff than I did so you know I can see what you guys really responded to in the book the other people really liked it you know then I can when I go and reread it again 
I can kind of pay attention more for those things too. So I can get, uh, you know, even more fun and enjoyment out of the book. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. Love you guys.